Hi guys, our topic today is OSS and BSS. OSS and BSS are two essential components within a mobile network, and even though they are interrelated, they perform very different tasks within a mobile network. OSS stands for Operation Support Systems, and BSS stands for Business Support Systems. OSS deals with network operations type things like fault management, configuration, etc., whereas BSS deals with business operations like billing, order management, and CRM, etc. So in other words, OSS is linked to the mobile network itself like base stations and core network, etc., whereas BSS is linked to uh, the CRM part of the mobile network so that the billing and customer-facing things can be taken care of. An example of OSS is uh, basically if there's a fault in the network, let's say the radio link goes down, radio link failure, right? So that means that the base station, so the mobile network, the base station within the network, cannot communicate with your mobile phone. Now, if that link is down, you're pretty much in a difficult situation and you don't know what to do, who are you gonna call? Now, I know it sounds relevant to say Ghostbusters because that's the answer to who you're gonna call, but let me just tell you this, that you won't be able to do that because if the radio signaling link is down, there's no coverage from the base station to your mobile phone, which means no service is what you might get. Unless there are some other base stations in the nearby location that can somehow reach your phone, which normally happens, but still the quality of the call may be compromised. So what you do in that situation as an engineer is that you go to your OSS and you investigate the problem to see exactly what went wrong. So that's the way to find out the radio signaling link is actually down. And that way you can investigate and then you can find solution to the problem. Okay, now let's dive into the details and see exactly what OSS and BSS do. OSS stands for Operations Support Systems and BSS stands for Business Support Systems. OSS and BSS are vital parts of a mobile network and perform interrelated but separate tasks. OSS supports network operation tasks such as performance, false, configuration, provisioning, network inventory, and service assurance. BSS supports customer-facing functions including billing, charging, service fulfillment, revenue management, customer and order management, and product catalogs, etc. If you look at this picture, on the left side we have a depiction of BSS because it's all about business support. And on the right side, we have the depiction of operational support, which is around OSS. So BSS is all about customers and money related things. And OSS is all about network related things. OSS is a combination of specialized software tools that are hosted on dedicated servers. It allows the mobile network to monitor the network status and performance from a centralized office. OSS is a vital part of modern mobile network architecture. It enables a mobile network operator to manage the day-to-day -day operations and maintenance activities within the mobile network. OSS is deeply integrated into the overall mobile network, for example, things like radio access network and base stations, etc., and the mobile core network. As a network-facing entity, OSS helps mobile operators to use relevant network data to design, build, operate, and maintain mobile networks. It allows a mobile network operator to activate services for the customer, for example, voice calls, text messages, and mobile data. It also facilitates service assurance through fault and performance management. BSS is responsible for handling customer-facing business tasks within a mobile network. Unlike OSS, which deals with specific network elements, BSS has a broader focus. The activities that come under the BSS umbrella are billing and charging, revenue management, customer management, order management, product catalogs, and many more. BSS is customer-centric and the key focus is on the business side of telecom services rather than the technology side. It allows a mobile operator to define new propositions and tariffs in the system, apply correct prices to the services and features, charge for the services accurately, and issue bills and invoices for those services. Usually, 
the solution comprises CRM, ordering, charging, billing, self-service, product catalog, and even partner and dealer management capabilities required for general business operations. For example, BSS can include basic customer-centric capabilities like allowing customers to be able to update their billing information in the system. OSS and BSS are essential parts of a mobile network, and while they perform different tasks, the terms OSS and BSS are interrelated. OSS and BSS are network entities or systems representing the operational and business sides of a mobile telecom network. They work together to help customers introduce new innovative services whilst ensuring a good customer experience. The integration of OSS and BSS is critical in launching new telco services, which ensures that the services can be sold, set up and supported. Most mobile network vendors provide both OSS and BSS as part of one overall solution. OSS deals with the network and technology side, whereas BSS deals with the business and customer side. Both OSS and BSS work closely and combine their technical and commercial capabilities to serve millions of subscribers reliably and efficiently. One example of OSS and BSS working together is when a customer has fully consumed their mobile data allowance, for example, 10 GB. In that case, the customer can no longer use any additional data for the rest of the month. This tariff information resides within the BSS, allowing the customer to buy more data. Once the customer has purchased additional data, the newly acquired data allowance can be activated for the customer by the OSS. One of the key benefits of OSS is that it uses automated mechanisms to improve the efficiency of network management tasks, including network operations, optimization, and planning. OSS simplifies the decision-making for the relevant teams within a mobile operator by allowing them to access network data centrally instead of relying solely on manual field measurements. The deliverables of OSS mainly include network performance management, fault management, configuration, provisioning of new services, network inventory, and service assurance. If something goes wrong within the mobile network, OSS is where you find that information. BSS allows mobile operators to bill customers accurately for the services they consume. For example, suppose a postpaid customer exceeds the monthly data allowance included in their tariff. In that case, the BSS platform holds the relevant information to apply the correct data overcharges to the customer's next bill. The information available through BSS can also be used to create reports for the management and other teams that deal with business and commercial activities. For example, when a mobile operator launches a new product or service, let's say a new 5G tariff, it must be configured in BSS to ensure it is entered into the system and ready to be sold to customers. Thanks for watching the video guys, I've written a very detailed post on OSS BSS, have a look at the link in the description below.